Let v1 be the vector 1, 0, 1, 0. Let v2 be the vector 2, 3, 0, 0. Let v3 be the vector 0, 1, 0, 1. I want to know, is the vector b equal to minus 1, 0, 3, 6 in the span of v1, v2, and v3? If so, write b as a linear combination of v1, v2, and v3. Now, to answer the first question, okay, the span of v1, v2, and v3, that's going to be all linear combinations of our three vectors. So what we're trying to solve is, can I write b as a linear combination of our three vectors? So that's going to be the equation, okay, b equal to x1, v1, plus x2, v2, plus x3, v3, for some x1, x2, and x3 that are numbers. Now, if I have this equation here, we can transfer it to matrix vector form, a form a matrix by using v1, v2, and v3 as the columns. We'll put b on the right-hand side, and then we'll have our three vector of unknowns here. Possibilities, we can have a unique solution, we can have many solutions, or we can have no solution. If we have unique or many solutions, okay, there's at least one solution, that'll mean I can write B as a linear combination. If we get no solutions, that means B is not a linear combination, and so we're not in the span. All right, now, to solve this, we just set up our augmented matrix. So that's gonna be as so. Now, my first step's gonna be to reorganize. So the idea is gonna be, Okay, first I want a one up in our left-hand corner, and I want all zeros beneath. Now, I like the third row better than the first row because it has more zeros in it. So we'll do that switch, and then we'll just switch things around to get things in a way that's gonna to lead to a nice row echelon form. Okay, so this is just going with a bunch of row switches. Now, first step, I wanna get rid of this one here. I wanna turn it into a zero. So I'm gonna replace row two with row two minus row one. So when we do that, we'll have this new row, and then note we can divide by two. So that'll be the next step. Then, okay, we have one, all zeros beneath. We have another one here on the diagonal, and I want all zeros beneath. So our next move is to get rid of the three. So what we'll do is, we'll take row three, subtract off three times row two. When we do that, we're gonna get the row 0016, and note, we have 0016 for row four, so we can just remove it. Now, if you note, we have better than row echelon form, we have reduced row echelon form, which means for our pivots, not only do we have zeros below, we have zeros above. All right, what's happening here? We have a unique solution. So, thing to note is, for this last row of zeros, we have zero in the spot right here. If we had a non-zero number there, we would get no solution. But since it's zero, we're gonna have a unique solution. Okay, so this tells me our answer. We just read off what we get. We're gonna have x1 is equal to three, x2 is equal to minus two, x3 is equal to six. So, not only is that my solution, that tells me how to set up the linear combination. So we're gonna have, okay, if you go to your original equation, that's telling you what to put in for x1, x2, and x3. So b is equal to, okay, 3v1 minus 2v2 plus 6v3. Okay, if you put in for v1, v2, and v3, that's gonna be your check, you work it out, and then you see that b comes out. 